we're here on Little Round Top, and I'm going to do a video series called Little Round Top, and we're going to set, take you to different spots and do a little tour of the area of Little Round Top and talk about its important position. In overview, this is the spot on July 2nd, 1863, where the United States Signal Corps was um, placed to transfer information about the enemy's position and strength and the ground layout. Uh, Governor K. Warren made his way up here and spotted enemy troops coming from the west uh, and notified uh, the overall commander, George Gordon Meade, who placed uh, the 5th Corps of the Army up here just in the nick of time on July 2nd, 1863. This has been Little Round Top, Part 1, an overview on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Round Top Part 2, and we are here looking at the Signal Station Rock. Um, the Signal Corps in the Army was used uh, primarily for acquiring uh, the information on the lay of the land and the enemy strength and transmitting that information uh, to different Corps headquarters. And during the uh, Battle of Gettysburg here on July 2nd, 1863, uh, the United States Signal Corps was here in this position, and this was actually their station, their Signal Corps station, uh, one of many that were on the Gettysburg battlefield, and probably overall the best overall view of the Gettysburg battlefield. Um, it was here where they had spotted Longstreet on his counter march uh, west of this position here. Um, on July 2nd and of course it was here that they spotted the enemy advancing toward Little Round Top. Um, of course there is a famous photograph taken from an angle about right here of this rock in the late 1800s. Uh, this has been uh, a spot that many people who have come to Gettysburg have visit but don't understand uh, what it's stood for and what it means. Now the plaque on the uh, rock was dedicated in May of 1919 to honor those men from the U.S. Signal Corps at Gettysburg. Uh, there were 36 men performing the duty here at the Battle of Gettysburg. Two of them were wounded slightly uh, and this plaque that says Memorial Tablet to the Signal Corps USA which through valiant and heroic services at Little Round Top July 2nd through the 4th 1863 and on many historic battlefields throughout the war of 1861 through 1865 contributed so greatly to the success of the Union Army this tablet is placed by their surviving comrades in tribute to their memory this has been Little Round Top Part 2 the Signal Rock on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Part 3, and we're now looking at the Warren Rock. Um, on the afternoon of July 2nd, 1863, Major General Governor Kemble Warren, who was the chief engineer of the Union Army, uh, was here on the left of the Union line uh, on Little Round Top. Uh, he was with the commanding general, George Gordon Meade. Um, both of these men at that time seen that the Union left under Dan Sickles uh, did not reach all the way to the round top for he had vacated his position uh, disobeying an order and brought them out about a half of a mile to the west toward the peach orchard. Um, now realizing there was no time to rearrange the position Sickles and Sickles line um, Meade sent Governor K. Warren to Little Round Top to have a look around. Now, on that afternoon, Warren ascended to the top of Little Round Top and put his uh, eye to the west over here. Um, and it was here that he seen something that frightened him. There were no Union troops here on Little Round Top. Um, and it was being used as a signal station, as we've seen in our last video, uh, at the Signal Rock. Um, Warren saw the southern line uh, overlapping the Union left, 
and he quickly sent a message to General George Gordon Meade requesting that at least a division of troops be placed here on Little Round Top in this position. Uh, of course, George Meade directed the Fifth Corps uh, to the vicinity of Round Top, and uh, not too long afterward, Hood's division began uh, coming from the Devil's Den and Wheatfield area toward this very position here. Now, the statue that General Warren that sits up here was dedicated in August of 1888, um, and it's the only boulder on the Gettysburg battlefield here, um, which has a sign on it that forbids visitors from standing on. And we're going to go around and take a look at that sign now. Um, usually there's there's restrictions on standing on monuments and not boulders, but this has a sign here that says visitors forbidden on this rock, see tablet on the front of the rock. Um, so this is the only boulder in Gettysburg that technically you are not allowed to stand on. Um, and it's, of course, the boulder which Ge Ge uh, General Warren himself stood on on July 2nd, 1863. This has been the Warren or the Governor K. Warren Rock here as a part of our Little Round Top series. This is Little Round Top Part 3 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. On top, and we are looking at what we call the balancing rock, and this is going to be a little round top part four. Um, this rock, which has no real historical significance, um, early visitors visitors who to the Gettysburg battlefield um, who were able to climb onto it noticed fairly quickly how the rock tended to rock back and forth, um, and it seemed like it balanced itself. Uh, on, a, on a boulder underneath. Therefore, the rock got nicknamed the Balancing Rock. And if you climb up over here on this rock and then hop up here and put your feet on and rock back and forth, the rock does tend to move. This has been Little Round Top Part 4, The Balancing Rock on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Round Top Part 5 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And also, Secrets of the Battlefield. Um, and this is the 1902 foundation for the old um, guard shack that used to sit here on Little Round Top. Uh, early in the 1900s, right around the turn of the century, um, the Gettysburg National Park, the new Gettysburg National Park rather, the commissioners of that park uh, required guards to be uh, working around the clock here at the Gettysburg Battlefield. Um, and they were here to uh, prevent injuries to uh, p visitors here at the Gettysburg, as well as uh, vandalization uh, of the monuments. Um, and there were several guard shacks placed on the battlefield. There was one at Culp's Hill. There was one here. Uh, they were in, in several locations across the Gettysburg National Military Park. Um, now, this particular guard shack used to sit uh, just here off of what is today Sykes Avenue, which is up here in the distance. Um, and there is an old photograph of it. The ground was much more level. It now slopes up more due to the modern Sykes Avenue, which was, uh, which was placed here uh, around 1930. Um, but this is something that most visitors of Gettysburg don't see when they come. It's the what remains of that guard shack that was built over it. Uh, it's just the foundation, and then underneath the leaves are some pieces of wire and piece of the roof um, that's still here. Um, but to get here, I'm going to walk back up the hill and show you. Uh, to get here, if you walk straight up from where the guard shack foundation is, directly to the modern day parking area and again this ground has been altered and heightened due to the new Sykes Avenue that was built right here and here's the parking area for a little round top so if you come just to the north side of the parking lot where my car is my car is in the last spot walk over to this boulder 
and then straight down about 20 yards and you'll come to the old guard shack foundation this has been little round top part five on gettysburg battlefield facebook roadbed for sykes avenue um, which was first laid here in 1897 now sykes avenue today is the modern roadbed that passes by and goes over little round top uh, and the parking area and of course to the left here is the sign that says Sykes Avenue but originally that roadbed went up around by the 44th New York Castle here and then wrapped around the battle the 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 face of round top over toward the 155th Pennsylvania Monument um, that was the original roadbed from 1897 uh, in 1895 the War Department took over they had a different way of laying roads and they built the modern day uh, road which we stand on now um, their different way of building roads was to crush boulders that were here in the area lay a, a road bed down and then pave over it and of course when they did that they obliterated the landscape of little round top which we talked about in our uh, video with the guard shack which you should have watched by now uh, but this is the original road bed here for Sykes Avenue here uh, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook Little Round Top Series Part 6 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and we're at the Vincent's Brigade plaque they were members of the Army of Potomac 5th Corps 1st Division 3rd Brigade under Colonel Strong Vincent a Pennsylvanian um, he found himself here on Little Round Top um, as a result of Meade and Governor K. Warren's desire to have troops here. Um, today, uh, this area of the battlefield is called Vincent's Spur um, in honor of Colonel Strong Vincent. Uh, on July 2nd of 1863, 1,300 men from Vincent's Brigade arrived here on Little Round Top just in the nick of time to save the hill from advancing Confederate troops, which we talked about in an earlier video. Um, the brigade consisted of four regiments uh, from different states, the 83rd Pennsylvania from Pennsylvania, the 20th Maine from Maine, the 44th New York from New York, and the 16th Michigan. Um, they had been in that brigade since the Battle of Antietam. The commander of that brigade, Colonel Strong Vincent, um, was born in 1837. Um, he was a Harvard uh, graduate and lawyer when the Civil War began in 1860. Um, he had no military education, but he was a natural leader. Um, the plaque itself was erected by the War Department uh, just around 1900. Um, and as of all the brigade plaques, it explains the actions of the brigade here at the Battle of Gettysburg on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 1863. This has been Little Round Top, Part 7, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. 8, and we're looking at some uh, rebuilt War Department stone walls here on Little Round Top. Um, and these were built uh, before the Civil War. The original walls were built before the Civil War by farmers who farmed the area. Um, of course, these walls were here uh, during the Battle of Gettysburg, but these are not the original walls that sit here today. Uh, the War Department uh, had later rebuilt walls all around the Gettysburg battlefield, including this wall here on Little Round Top. And it was, in fact, became quite a, a controversial issue when Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain uh, came back to Gettysburg and these walls were several feet high. Uh, he thought that was an embarrassment um, because people would think that his men were uh, well protected behind large stone walls here um, so he uh, grumbled about it to enough people and the walls were taken down um, and that was uh, him uh, at an older age in his life uh, showing his pride saying that you know we fought uh, very hard and we didn't have those high walls of protection um, but however these walls are in the area that the original walls were in uh, at the Battle of Gettysburg and actually the pre-war walls that were built here by the farmers and as you walk here uh, from Vincent Spur over toward the 20th Main Monument you'll see the rebuilt War Department stone walls 
which are also located at air, other areas on the battlefield. This has been Little Round Top Part 8 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook, as you walk from Vincent Spur toward the 20th Main Monument, which you can see in the distance here, you'll see a paved road to the left. And I touched on this video earlier this year in 2013 um, as a part of my video called the 20th Main, um, which later I turned into actually the 20th Main Part 2. Uh, and I touched on uh, historical significance of this this avenue here called Chamberlain Avenue. However, since then, and for the 150th anniversary, uh, the National Park Service went and paved this road. So we're going to rewalk it again here today and talk a little bit about it. Um, we're here uh, on one of the avenues that was built, removed, and now rebuilt again. Um, and this Chamberlain Avenue was originally constructed in 1902. Uh, and it ran about a thousand feet, and then it was removed in the 1930s and pretty much stayed that way uh, until 2013, around March and April, when it was reconstructed and paved. Um, we did talk about at one time, and, and the avenue pretty much goes just on the outskirt of the 20 main, 20th Main's position here in line, and sits in between the northern position with the 20th Main here, and then on the other side, the Confederate advance from the Alabama troops under Oates. Um, we also talked about this particular boulder, which at one time was to have a statue of Colonel Chamberlain on it, and, and we still call this the Chamberlain Rock today. However, since Chamberlain was against the idea, uh, it never happened, and that's one of the secrets here of the battlefield. Um, it's often been debated over time whether this avenue should be here or not. It wasn't here during the battle, and it did alter the land um, when it was constructed in 1902. Uh, and for that reason, it was uh, removed, uh, and it was originally built for early visitors, including the veterans themselves, to be able to come with their horses, horse-drawn carriages, and then later the earliest forms of automobiles and be able to drive around the area where the 20th Main fought. Um, uh, it was taken up, and then of course here for the 150th, and probably most likely due to the fact that the ground had already been altered anyway, um, it was rebuilt back, and today is a, a fairly decent walking trail uh, here for people who walk or walk their pets. Uh, this is Little Round Top, Part 9, Chamberlain Avenue on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.